everybody, and welcome back to Crocodile Kazooie, um, or Banjo Kazooie, really. I guess Kazooie is kind of just hiding out in, in our backpack, presumably. I never really thought about that when I transform. Like, where does she go? Because Banjo transferred, but you never really see Kazooie. Anyways, I don't know why I'm thinking about that. That's totally random. Last video, we pretty much did everything in Bubble Gloop Swamp. The last couple of things we have to do are in this big crocodile statue and as the crocodile. So, we have our usual transformation uh, jiggy to get. I'm going to get the notes before um, I do this, just to get all 100 notes. So, we've got that. Uh, we've picked up a couple of mumbo tokens. And we're going to go and talk to this other crocodile and see what he's got for us. So, hello there. Her, 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 I'm Mr. Vile, greediest croc of all. Play my game to win a prize. Okay, and he, he's totally, you know, fond, like, egging us on. So we have to essentially eat more red yubblies than him. And this is why you can attack, because you actually have to use your biting move to eat these red little creatures. So, this may seem simple. Um, you know, you have to eat more than Mr. Vile. He is faster than you. And so this seems a little unfair. It seems like you have a little bit of an unfair advantage, you know, because he's bigger than you. But it has a little bit to do with luck. It just has to do with where the grublies appear, or the yumblies, pardon me. Um, you know, if they spawn near you, then you're going to get more. If they spawn near him, then you're a little bit out of luck. Um, some of them will actually go below ground and disappear, like just as you're about to eat them, which is the most frustrating thing um, to happen. But I don't recommend, you know, keeping a close eye on the counter until you're done because otherwise you're gonna, you know, freak out and you're gonna be like, oh, I'm so behind and um, it kind of just slows you down. So I just recommend trying to eat as much as you can, eat everything in sight, and then hopefully by the end you'll actually have more. So there we go. I managed to eat more than he did, which is pretty awesome. You only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds. Avoid yellow grumblies. They not ripe. Okay. So, if, you know, beating him once isn't enough, we gotta beat him again. This time, you only eat the red ones. If you eat the white ones, uh, what will happen is you will um, get like a stomach ache, kind of is what it looks like when you actually uh, eat them. And you slow down for a couple of seconds. So, it's not good. Um, and he will not eat them. So, you gotta keep that in mind. Like, he, he as a computer isn't programmed to actually eat them, so, you know, he's not going to eat them, only you are, so you're kind of at the disadvantage if you eat them, so. I don't think I'm doing so well, but I'll just keep trying here. And again, like I said, this is just all about luck. As you can see, they're kind of spawning near me, which is good. Just eat a couple when I see them. Try to beat Mr. Vile. I, this little crocodile has an awfully big stomach. I'd be like, no man, I'm so full, I can't eat anymore, I'm totally stuffed. And we've got a couple more to eat here. And I beat him again, which is actually pretty miraculous that I managed to beat him by that much, but... Bah! Lucky Greeny wins! Must play last game, only eat what is shown at the top of the screen. Okay, so this is the most difficult of the games. Um, this changes randomly, and it doesn't give you any sort of, like, counter or when it changes. So what can happen is you can be in the middle of eating one of these guys, and it will just start to change. And, um, you know, it's really hard <laughs> to determine when it's going to change. So, just try to eat what I can. And this is generally when I get my butt whooped. And if I don't get my butt whooped, then I only win by, like, one or two at a time. Because he can eat a whole hell of a lot. Oh, god, there's so many, and they're not around me. There we go. Go ahead and eat some red ones. This is a fun minigame, don't get me wrong, but it's it's really stressful. Like, there's, there's so much going on, and there's so much you gotta follow, and... These things are annoying because they appear and then they reappear and they give you a hard time. Oh god. Oh! It's a tie, so I didn't win. Mighty Mr. Vile wins, now Greeny gets chewed, and then if you lose, he will come after you and try to eat you like a, a total jerk! What an asshole! So yeah, now I have to go out and I have to come back in. So, like I said, it's... 
it, it's not the most difficult mini game uh, of all times. There's certainly some really hard mini games um, in this game, especially in the, the sequel Banjo Tooie. Um, but this is one of the ones that are a little bit more difficult. And the thing that really, really, really sucks about this is that you have to do it all over again. You don't just start with the hard game first. He makes you do this entire thing all over again. So if I don't succeed this time, I will just go ahead and I will do it um, off screen or maybe I'll just skip this until I get to the hard part because this is going to take a couple of minutes to do. So, you get to see some some failure with this LP. I mean, I know this game and I played it a lot, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm the greatest at this game by any means. Looks like I got an achievement though. I think it was for eating 30 uh, 30 of these guys on the first round. Which is always nice. Oh god, there's none of them near me. He's catching up. There we go. Just keep eating. Uh, well, luckily, I think I'm far ahead on this one. There we go. Okay, so we're going to move on to the second round. I am going to cut this out now. Um, I'm going to try and concentrate a little bit. And I'll meet you guys in the third round, where hopefully I will win. Ah, yes, I beat him by one. Oh, Mr. Vile never lost before. Greeny can have prize. Oh, thank you. After you made me completely stuff my stomach, and then you try to eat me, <laughs> and you can play him again if you'd like. You can win some extra lives. You can get three of them. Um, but I'm going to leave. Mr. Quile is bad as croc of all. Look, everyone, the greenie is scurrying off. And he is a bit of a jerk, but I, you know what? I don't really care, <laughs> because that mini game is done. Poor little Croc's stomach is probably ready to explode, and we have actually successfully completed Bubble Goop Swamp. So, if we go ahead and we look at our totals, we have got all 100 notes, all 10 jiggies, and both of the honeycomb pieces. We also picked up some mumbo tokens, and we also got um, some extra lives out of the deal. So, can't complain there. A little bit of fail at the end there, but I was predicting that to happen. I'm not the best at that mini game. And we're actually going to leave the world as a crocodile. We're going to leave as our transformation. And there's a couple of little things that we can do before we go ahead and we move on to our next world. So, goodbye Bubble Gloop Swamp. I'm going to roam around the outside swamp. And we're actually going to go back to that area that I had cleared up earlier because this is why you want to ensure that the uh, boulder is gone or the ice block, or you know, whatever it is that you want to call it. Because as Banjo and Kazooie, you are not small enough to physically fit into that little space, but as the crocodile, it's really not a problem. You are a tiny little guy and you can just scurry right in there. So, we're gonna go and we're gonna see what is behind this little area here. It's kind of a little secret, which is kind of cool. I've learned this spell. It's really neat. I'll keep it later for your treat. I think she's already said that, but anyways, all right. Ooh, hello, who are you? Cheeto, the spell book. You have found magic cheats I have for you. Talk like Yoda, I do. Hey, book brain, what did you say? You better not give my spells away. Which lost book? Finders bear and bird are. Spell they get. We sure do beg, lady. Come on, book boy, give us the spells. Only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter the code Blue Eggs on Sandcastle Floor in Treasure Trove Cove World. Help you it will. Hidden in lair other spell books are. Them you should find. Oh, with the Yoda speak. Alright, well, yeah. Cheeto, the cheat book, or the spell book, um, is where you can get cheats for this world. And that's why I had said that we were going to go back to Treasure Trove Cove, to the area where we entered Banjo Kazooie on the sandcastle to get that jiggy. Well, you can go back there and you can enter codes that Cheeto gives you and you will get uh, boosts and things like that. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're not actually gonna go to our next world. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that and I will demonstrate how that works. So, whenever you can find Cheeto, I recommend doing so. I don't find him overly useful. 
Um, for a game like this, cheats aren't really necessary, but they do help somewhat. So, mumble magic get weak, and we're gonna have to transform back. Magic run out, and we are back to the bear and the bird. And get out of here. All right. So back to Treasure Trove Cove we go. I will never ever get sick of the music in that world, so I'm not particularly upset that we have to return. And like I said, I, I think it is pretty interesting that it is one of the only worlds that you have to return to. Um, in the sequel of this game, Banjo-Tooie, it's kind of interesting because they really made you do a lot of backtracking. Um, they made you go back to different worlds after learning moves and things like that. But this world is, or this game isn't really like that. The moves that you learn are the ones you use in the world and you don't have to backtrack. Um, so, yeah. And I apparently was wrong and I'm very sorry because it looks like you actually have to empty out the water every single time. I don't remember it being like that, but I guess I can't remember absolutely everything about this game, so... Oh, wrong thing. Just go ahead and patch Leaky back up and drain the water. Not that big of a deal. Because as you can see, the Jiggy is already gone and I've already completed this world, so... It seems kind of odd to me that I have to redrain the water, and then you got this guy that keeps appearing for whatever reason. Ah, I'll just take you out. You don't scare me. See you later. And I think I actually hit that B, too. Let's see, so I hit that B. Uh, I need an L. So the, it was blue eggs, I think, is what it was. And instead of turning green and highlighting, it just uh, will turn orange. So you just gotta kind of keep track of where it is you are. Uh, blue, where's the G? Where is the G? I cannot find it. Oh, there it is. It's in the corner. G, G, and I need an S. Do it. Is there an S? Here it is. Blue eggs. 200 eggs are now yours. Now 200 is maximum two. That lousy cheat for extra eggs won't help, bear and chicken legs. Oh, Grunty, you so clever with your rhyming. So yeah, uh, we now can carry more eggs. Instead of carrying 50, or sorry, 100 is the max for eggs. I was thinking of feathers. Instead of being able to carry 100 eggs, we can carry 200 eggs. So, you know, like I said, the, the cheats are not overly useful, but it's still pretty handy if you're at a certain part where you maybe need to use eggs instead of um, your attacks for whatever reason or you know you're at a boss where you need to use eggs or you know whatever it is that you need more or less you don't have to worry about running out which is the main thing you don't you don't have to go around and spend your time collecting eggs which is you know kinda cool so now that we've done that we are ready to head to our next world so I think I'll actually just stop it here. Uh, this is kind of where we ended off before we did Bubble Gloop Swamp. And then from here we will go back in and we will figure out what more there is to do in Grunty's Lair. So, thank you so very much for watching everybody and I hope that you will join me next time.